Right, the Mount Ready Car Bridge. The tarp coming straight down. Go over to Cardiff. You look at the size of the bill. Block walls on the side. All the way to the cross. And we can do a big circle now. And we'll cut down with the drought flat in front of us, recently refurbished. St. Tidwell's Parish Church is behind them. We're going to take a left and head up the tarp. Straight ahead. The water outlet. Bridge over there, we'll do a big circle, come back across that bridge. As you see, the brickwork to the left is starting to collapse. So we had to keep on going straight up. Straight ahead, we can see where the new bridge is going in over the taff. Just trying to cross now, go back to the other side. Massive frame coming in on it. Straight on past it. Come to the local weir. It's the bridge going over into the town centre from River College. Over that way now we have where this guy used to be on this guy street. As you see totally different to us you've seen in pictures now. All right, you just have all this other bridge as well. Straight past the college. The fire station on your left. Job centre straight up ahead of you. Up there's your Salvation Army. At Here's roughly a picture of where it would have been. With the Bethesda uh, cinder tip behind it. So we're up beside the tarf. Up where that signpost is, there's straight ahead, there's Eddie Thomas statue. The prefers the chapel one stood. When you come around here, and roughly this was all the area they call Chinatown, a rough area. Like I said, we're standing now where once China was, Chinatown. If you go on YouTube and check out China Murphy, a uh, cracking documentary by Christopher Parry, they'll tell you more information about this area. It's roughly where these houses were, all the way up beside the Taff to where we're going now, Jackson's Bridge, where you can see the Wellington pub in front of us. All the way to the right, if you cross the road towards the Bethesda Chapel, would have been a building called Pontestory House, which was basically the arch entrance into Chinatown. So, so we keep going to straight ahead. Here we see Jackson's Bridge. 
If you look on the map about to show you right now, you will see uh, the China is circled around where Jackson Bridge starts on the Taft side, which is basically here. Looks like some sort of ruins over there on the other side. A lot of stones. So where was the houses over there as well? I do not know. I won't be surprised if there is some stuff from China under that water. Old coins and stuff. Very poor pace. One of the worst in Wales, I reckon, at one stage. And like I said, he went all the way around there. We're going to the go head back now over Jackson's Bridge. And uh, take a left back to the other side of the college. See how they get on, we're knocking the college down. Right there on top of Jackson's Bridge, I just noticed the Wellington has now been changed to the Red Spice. It shows the last time I was down this area. There's the tarf looking down. So we're going to head straight ahead now. Great escape, used to be a pub. Now we're then turned into a funeral home. Straight up the head in front, you can see the white building up the top is the rectory. We've got half a church behind there. If you take another left turn in, it's like you've seen on the other video of uh, Bethel Cemetery. Got the drill all on the left. And we're going to take a turn left, turn behind. Right, we're taking the left. We've got Georgetown Boys Club there. And then we got the Court Request, Kirkus Memorial, Memorial Hall, Three Horseshoes, like we've seen in the other video. And we're going to head straight ahead to the college. See the college getting ripped down? A bit more fit this from a couple of days ago. You see here for college getting ripped to the ground. God knows what they'll find underneath. On the other side now, over here. The bridge going over. And we're heading up our way to the old road. Because the old road so close down the other side of the college. We had to go come across back across the bridge of the town and take an alternative route down. With the police station. It's an old uh, colour thing of Murpha, parking picture. Big building, 1929, back of the High Street Baptist Church, we're up around the front now, High Street Chapel, uh, Judge Plaque, can't really see it, we worn out now, we head back down the town, past the Crown Pub, past the Fountain, back to the car park. Right, we're done with the Crown Inn, 1785, one of the oldest pubs in Murphy. I think the three horses was 1795, if I remember right. And if you look at the arch, maybe, yeah. You still see all the cobble stones. There's no cobble floor. I'm guessing the archway into Chinatown would have been something like this. An area. Not the gates original. We're down to the fountain now. 
and you're heading down the fountain. It wasn't originally, but there is more over to the right side. We've got St. Edward's Parish Church. If you look at Ed, where the railings are, I'll show the pitch right now, what it used to look like. I did all this would have been pubs and things, houses, being there would have been a slaughterhouse, which is then turned into a boxing unit on in life, no car garage. And then you're right before we go back to the car, with the fountain, just a quick look. You see mortars on there. You always better write that. You see it. Here's a picture you can not see it. Just put a few emblems there, mine then. A couple other things. Steam trains. Like I said, before we head back to the car, we have the Tidwell St. Paris Church, the apparent burial place of Mark the Tidwell. I'm going to detail that before, I'll keep that for the next video. And apparently, she was buried under there, and that's where the church was built here. Yeah? Like I said, we'll watch the next video on that one.